that moment when you wake up and realize you did it. You try to describe the feeling. Day one on the boat was a success. In the water. So exciting. Even though we are not sailing, it feels really good. It feels different. It feels so good to be on the boat. The smell is so good too. The salty smell. <laughs> I could get used to that. <laughs> but words can express the joy of sailing Alma. So we're going out for a sail. I feel awesome. We have light winds, but our boat's feeling pretty well. She really moves under sail. We're moving. There you go, I got you some wind now. Yeah. Embracing every ounce of the salty sea. Looking forward to what adventures are in store for us. Reality of living and exploring full time on Alma comes flooding in. As we head to the night's anchorage, we watch the sunset, letting out a deep sigh of relief. Finally, this journey begins. The first morning on the hook is a peaceful one. It was everything we imagined it to be. Minus the sleeping in. But the view is unlike any other. Now it's time to start heading up north. Here we are uh, sailing on the ICW. The tip up. We're going about 4 knots. 3.9, 4 knots. I'm well, surprised I didn't know that Merborn has such a big sailing community. And I'm happy to see a lot of boats around here sailing. And uh, yeah, that's, that's it for today. Well, for now. <laughs> Say bye. Bye. Everything was going well until. We had a lot of rain. We lost some away, but oh my goodness. Yeah, inside your nostrils, inside your mouth. It's a nightmare. Today was a breath of fresh air compared to yesterday's swarm of love bugs. Taking in our peaceful surroundings, enjoying the change in scenery, and getting excited as we realize we are approaching our destination, Ponte de Leon Inlet, where we will be exploring the second tallest lighthouse in the U.S. Getting the family ready can take quite some time, but the experience of the Ponce de Leon Inlet Lighthouse Museum will be well worth it.
grateful to be able to stretch our legs and excited to explore the history this museum has to offer. Look who I found. Hi, <laughs> you're enjoying the tour? What we're about to experience is a second assistant's dwelling. There were three assistants here, keepers, in this area for the family, and this structure was actually the first town hall in the Ponce de Leon Inlet, which was built in 1954. Let's go ahead and go back in time. In the early days, the lighthouse keepers and residents traveled by boat for supplies and medical care, since it was the easiest route. Ponce Park was an isolated community until this commission began to take interest. The town of Ponce Inlet was incorporated in 1963. Racing on the beach was very popular. Sir Malcolm Campbell set five world land speed records on Daytona Beach between 1928 and 1935. Before him, the record to beat was 203 miles per hour. In 1959, the first Daytona 500 NASCAR race took place. It's amazing how much has changed. I mean, this is what how the Simpsons used to be. And now, it's so much different. I can't imagine wearing those clothes in this hot weather. <laughs> Just to have an idea how big these lanes are. Compared with my height, I'm six feet. This is not the biggest one. That one here is the biggest one. Learning about Augustine Fresnel, the man who invented the Fresnel lens was really interesting. Many doubted his intelligence since reportedly he did not even speak until he was eight years old. But he perfected his series on optics, creating the first order lens, now known as the Fresnel lens. It could be seen 20 nautical miles away out at sea, lit by a hydraulic kerosene lamp. The rotating third order lens was a 500 watt frosted bulb with a spare bulb that rotated in place when the main one burned out. This produces a flash of 220,000 candle power. This is actually the first U.S. oil house. It was built to hold the kerosene, and it actually held five gallon cans on a wall rack, which was used to hold a year's supply of oil. Unfortunately though, vandals stole the copper roof and set the building on fire, so this is a remade version of it. Ready to explore the lighthouse? You ready? You ready? Yeah. All right, yeah, this is going to be your, your highest climb so far at seven months, 175 feet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's go. So excited. I know, me too. I mean, this is the tallest lighthouse in the state of Florida, so it's going to be really interesting. It's a good place to start. Yeah. I'll be right behind you.
after the museum, our floating home awaits. We head to the bow to reminisce about all of our experiences so far, the ups and the downs, while enjoying another beautiful sunset. Tomorrow will be another adventure. Join us next week, where we go on our first offshore passage. I feel like a little nauseous. And make it to one of our favorite places in Florida. We made it to St. Augustine.